At CBF, we know that for you to change your body, you need to change your mind. Exercise and eating healthy is only part of the plan. We care about our members as we care about our family because our members become our family. It is not about competition, but support. It is not about being the strongest or the fastest, but about you defeating your negative self. It is about working together and making the task challenging and have fun. By the end, what matters is not how hard the session was, but that you take control of your mind so you can take control of your body. My name is Sandro Torres, and I'm happy you are part of our family. Welcome to Custom Body Fitness. Welcome everybody to another talk here with your health coach, Sandro Torres. Last week, I went camping with my family. We went camping to close to a lake. When we were setting up the spot where we were going to stay, I saw a eagle flying over a, a lake, the lake that we were staying. And the eagle, was, the eagle was making a couple of turns on the lake. All of a sudden, I noticed a bird. I don't know if at that time the bird was there. It came after. But I saw a bird attacking the eagle. The bird was like 20 times smaller than the eagle. And I just was watching the whole thing. I, my first thought was like, that eagle is going to fish. Probably I thought that because that's what I wanted. I wanted to see the eagle fishing because I never, I never seen an eagle fishing in real life. So the eagle all of a sudden just flew away. And I think I flew away my, once again, those are the conclusions I was making in the moment. I think it flew away because it wanted to distract the bird and then came back. When it came back, the bird was following the eagle, but it stayed behind the small bird. And it did another turn. It went down to the lake, come up with the fish and then flew away. And the, the small bird couldn't catch up with the eagle anymore. All the time when I was watching the eagle, I was wondering why the eagle doesn't just attack the bird. So the bird stopped attacking her. And in my conclusions, I thought that maybe the, the, the bird so small that the eagle need, need to make a lot of turns and it couldn't just attack it. It was difficult for the eagle. That was my conclusion. And I thought that she was so focused, the eagle was so focused on fishing that she didn't even care about the, the bird. So the only thing that it was easy to do was fly away and then come back. Later, I got into the internet and I started making a small research. And I find, find out that the small bird, the reason why the small bird attacked the eagle is because the small bird is territorial and is protecting um, his territory. Plus, is protecting his nest from the eagle in case then the eagle wants to attack the nest. Even though the ego doesn't care, um, the, the bird needs to protect uh, his territory. And the ego doesn't attack the bird because it requires a lot of energy and, and a lot of turns and things. The, th the things that I was thinking for the ego to be able to succeed in, he, in her attack. So therefore, it's better for the ego to focus on just her prey instead of paying attention to the small bird. When I was when I finished watching the eagle, I thought about us humans, and I said that that's very interesting. The small bird is a problem for the eagle. For the eagle to be able to catch her prey, the bird was bothering her. Just like us, we think that we all have prob that we as a human are the only ones who have problems, and we need to deal with problems when we are focused on doing whatever we're doing getting in shape, opening a business, dealing with our family, whatever it is, that buying a house, whatever it is. We try to focus with that and there is a lot of problems that come in the middle. So if you notice, the ego also has problems when she's trying to pray her food, her meal in that time. For example, this is small bird. I thought about myself. I thought about uh, a few months ago, I was making changes in custom body fitness. 
I was hiring new instructors for our group training. And of course, like any other business, we need to, we, we do our best to hire the best people, but sometimes we, we miss uh, when we're trying to hire the best people, but we need to give it a try, otherwise we get stuck. So I, I hire uh, some trainers, some of our instructors, and things didn't turn out perfect in the beginning because of course these people need to, needs to learn our new instructors, they need to learn our system and how we train and everything. So when I was making those changes, I got a couple problems. Some of our members were leaving because of the changes that I was making. I, even though I sit with them and I talk to them and I tell them what was, uh, what, what, what was going on, they still they weren't agreeing with everything that I was doing. They wanted me to get back and train, which I explained to them that I love to train and I love to do those things. But just like my clients and my instructors, I need to progress. I have other things to do. And if I stay and train, I won't be able to, be, to do, for example, these videos that I make for you. Anyway, we had a conversation with, with many of them and they choose to live. However, we have some clients, we have some members, they do trust us and they love custom body fitness and they give us the opportunity to do it right, to make sure that our instructors learn, they give us time for, for them to learn and they, they, they're capable to train our members and also continue enjoying custom body fitness and get the results that we promise. I, I really appreciate those members and here is a, a salute for you. Thank you so much for staying with us and, and, and the difficult times and the good times. I really appreciate your support. Anyway, it's like me when I go to a business, for example, let's put a restaurant, for example. There is restaurants that I love and I go eat there because their food is just amazing. Their service is great. Whatever it is, it's something that I love. Sometimes they do change uh, chefs, they do change uh, waiters, waiters, whatever, staff in general, and things are not as smooth like it used to be. They make mistakes. So if they make a mistake or many mistakes when I'm there, I give them another opportunity. I give them four or five opportunities before I say that's enough. I believe this restaurant is lowering its standards. It's not to the standards that it used to be like I used to come before. But before I make that decision, I give him a lot of opportunities because I know they make changes. It's the same with those uh, members. They give us the opportunity to make things right. So now our new instructors are amazing and our members love our instructors because they're doing such, such an amazing job. Now they're, all our trainers go to a, tr a training with us that we have meetings four times a week so they can learn everything about custom body fitness, everything about how they need to train our members. So what I'm trying to tell you with that story is just like the ego, I have many problems. Many clients were leaving, um, that income was lowering, it wasn't enough like it used to be back in the past. Uh, morally, it, do, it did affect us because we don't feel capable of doing things because any breakup with, with, with your partner, with a, with a client, with a friend, whatever, it does hurt, but you can make decisions for them. You can um, expect them to stay if they don't want them. And I don't blame them because they free to do whatever they want to do. I'm just saying it does affect us. However, I stop focusing on those little things like the little bird was attacking the bird. Those little things were attacking me. I stop focus on that and I put my fo whole focus on hiring the right instructors and train them so they can take my spot and start training in custom body fitness. By the end, the goal I hit the goal, the objective, and right now we have amazing staff. I'm very happy with that. And our clientele come up, came up again. So in other words, because I was so focused on the objective, I hit the objective and I forget about all, the, all those problems. Just like the bird was attacking the ego once again, the ego forgot about the bird, 
just got got out there, lost the bird a little bit. The bird came back, but she, the eagle went down to the lake and, and grabbed her fish, her fish, and then flew away. So if you have any problems, if you are focused on getting fit and you start seeing results and there is people that start talking bad about you, then putting negative things on you, on you they, 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 don't, they don't like you because you change a lot of your lifestyle. Uh, and they start, whatever they start saying, because you operate in your business, because whatever decisions you're making and people are talking bad about you or whatever it is, forget about that. Don't waste your energy. Just like myself, I didn't waste my energy trying to keep those members who decided to go. I didn't sit with them, of course, because they deserve an explanation. And I, I feel, I feel okay with myself when I sit with them and they know what's going on. But it's not my decision for them to stay. It's their decision. So just like me, I did that. Same you. You can explain to your to your friends or whoever is talking about to you whatever your reasons why you make better uh, different decisions. But don't waste your time trying to make these people change their mind. Forget about them. Forget about them and focus on your goal. Just like the ego, the ego didn't didn't start didn't start attacking the, the the little bird. The only thing that the ego did it was lose the the bird a little bit and then came back and grab grab her prey. So can you imagine if the ego will start fighting the small bird? How dumb the ego will look. Besides wasting her time, will look it will look stupid she will lose her meal she was so focused on that fish that she didn't care about the rest so the same with you remember you want to focus on your goal and stop uh, paying attention to those small and significant problems like that small little bird hopefully you like this talk hopefully it give you the motivation for you to continue with your goals and forget about those little things that are bothering you, they don't, they, they don't really matter. Please share it with people who needs, needs to listen to this. And I really appreciate your time. And we're going to be tuning in in the next. Your health coach, Sandra Torres, says bye for now. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed the content offered here, then I know you will enjoy these books. These are great tools to lead you to successful weight loss, better health, and greater happiness.